Hi, my name is Ruth Ted Mori and I've been doing hair for 20 years. I'm going to be showing a razor cut today. I do about 70% um, of my clientele with a razor just because I enjoy the control that I have. Today I'm going to be cutting my model's hair to about this length, more of a blunt cut and um, adding texture as I go just to release some of the weight in the back but keep it strong in the front. I'm going to remove weight or I'm going to remove length first. So I'm just taking, I want to have enough length to play with. And I like to remove length from the sides and from the back separately, just because I don't want to cut off too much off the front. So I'm going to take this section, pretty fairly small, I'm just going to do like a super, super tight stroke. Whenever I um, want like a blunter line, it's just like a little bit more tighter. And then a looser line, it's going to be just a little bit bigger, like a broader stroke. And I'm going to alternate back and forth, especially in the back. Um, my first section, I do want super, super blunt, but I am going to remove a little bit of weight. So I'm going to elevate it a little bit. And anywhere where I see like dark shadows in the hair, you can see um, where there's a lot more density. I just go in and I slice. And now I'm going to take like a nice small stroke. Remove anything that looks like it doesn't belong. And so before I start using my razor, I like to kind of establish my stroke before I put it into the hair. And I'm going around, so I kind of move my razor around this way. And I go back in and just take off any little hair that I miss. They're just usually just a few strands. So now I'm doing the same with the other side, but I'm starting from the tip of the blade and I'm going to the heel. So here I start with my heel and then I go to the tip. And then when I'm moving in this direction, I start from the tip and go to the heel. So I'm just gonna check everything, make sure that it's laying where I want it. And because there's all these like cowlicks and different things, it's more of like visually seeing where I wanna go a little bit shorter. I spray it down a tiny, tiny bit, but not so much that it's like stick, stuck to her head. But like right here, I feel like it's a little bit longer. So I'm just gonna whittle a little bit of that away. What I like about the razor is that it really is just like a, like a sculptor. I feel like you can get pretty beautiful precise looking shapes with a lot of movement just because it's um you can go in and just like pinpoint where you want to change perfect so i established my line another thing like when i like when i razor cut is um hold the hair really tight because if you don't have enough of a grip on the hair, if you don't have enough of a grip of hair, if you don't have the correct tension, um, you can't control your stroke and it can become looser uh, than you'd prefer. So like I like to hold my fingers like almost on top of each other just so that I have enough tension. And once it reaches this knuckle, I don't have that much tension. So I just like re-part or re-comb and just work on that part. So I'm going to just pull this up. I'm just looking at if I want to remove any weight, I'm not going to. So I'm just going to pull that down a little bit, but it's still a little bit elevated. And this, I'm going to use a much broader stroke. I could see like my um, guideline right here, but uh, so I'm going to just eyeball and hit it. So it's going to be a really, really broad stroke.
and I'm doing a very loose stroke because I want like a blunt line and then like a very soft line and then a blunt line and then a soft line because I'm trying to create like movement within the shape. And I didn't actually have to go back and comb it, so I felt like it was fine. So now I'm gonna go in and just refine the length. But you can see all this texture and then the blunt line. So my next section is going to be a little blunter. So this is my blunter section. And I'm just gonna take that part of it Hold it down and just do like my little blunt, like more of a smaller stroke. So it looks like that. Okay, so this, I am gonna just focus on the center. Just wanna look if there's any weight on the interior that I wanna take off. <clears throat> Excuse me. My tension isn't enough, so if you don't have enough tension, your razor is not gonna cut where you want it to. I'm gonna do that over here too. Just looking for <clears throat> dark areas. And whenever I add, <clears throat> excuse me, whenever I add texture, um, it's just my own rule of thumb. This is the length that the hair is going to be. So I like to stay kind of halfway um, into the length to remove weight. If I go shorter, it's going to create a lot of volume. If I go long, if I go just on the ends, it's just going to create like a finish. So if I'm doing weight removal, I do it in the middle of the hair length. So if my hair is like an inch long, then I can go in half an inch. So I'm gonna do a very broad stroke. So here's my guideline. So even though it's a broad stroke, when I comb it out, it's still really, really a strong line. And over time, even though I'm, my fingers are about half an inch below like my guideline, you kind of start to uh, have more control as to where exactly that line is going to end. So I feel like it's uh, pretty clean looking still, but like say um, you have like these slightly longer strands, you can just go in and just take them off with the razor. So now, we're doing a blunt line, and again, the section is so large, I'm gonna take it in three. And once I go past my first knuckle, I just, so that I don't move, I just move the razor. And I always just check as I go because each section is just as important as the previous one. 
And if I check for balance and say like one side keep it lays a little bit longer than the other, like I can catch it right away versus like waiting to the to the fronts don't match and then you have to figure out where the adjustment needs to be done. So this is a little bit longer, so I'm just gonna take that bit of a tail off. And it's like a tiny, tiny bit of hair, but just pinch it and just take it off. So now I'm just gonna comb everything down. And everybody's hair is so different and everybody's head is so different, so I'm just like seeing where it naturally wants to lay. And I'm going to elevate it ever so slightly just so that it has like a little tiny bit of a layer to it. I just don't want it to be super stiff on top. And the moment I start feeling like the hair is a little slack, I let go of it. And see how it's a little bit longer? That's not as big of a deal. I can go back in and detail that. So this wants to, looks like it wants to lay right here. Just taking it, just doing really broad strokes. I'm gonna leave that for the front, just Take care of this right over here. Okay, so I'm sectioning off the bang area, although it's not going to have bangs. I'm I want this to be like a strong piece in the front, so I'm going to leave that to the very end. So I don't want to cut it with those sides of her hair. So here's one side, but I'm going to go just about right there. And I'm going to do a very, very shallow stroke. And I'm not going to really, I'm not going to curve my blade this way. I'm just going to use the heel of my blade on this side and continue and then just rep reposition my fingers as I go because um, when you, I find that when I curve it, it does something to the shape and I want this to be as blunt as possible and just have like a kind of a serrated finish. So I'm just uh, making sure not to add any more movement than I need. I'm just taking this little piece off. And I'm going to texturize the side if it needs anything um, after, after it's dry. I find that like, well, everybody has less hair on the side. So I, I won't really texturize it as much as the back. Um, unless once it's dry, it just feels like too much. That's when I'll adjust it. And I just recomb it and reposition it between my fingers once I feel like I'm losing tension. Whenever you're cutting with a razor, uh, it's more about the feeling because you can feel your guideline drop out. You can feel the tension in your fingers. You can feel all of that a lot more because uh, if the razor is not cutting the same as when you first started over here, um, then you know that you're losing tension. So it's really easy to adjust. Uh, once you're in there, like right now, I'm like, that's probably the last part that's has enough or the same tension. You can't really see it. You definitely have to try it. And once you're in there, you'll know what I'm talking about. I remember when I first started using the razor, um, I thought it was just, you kind of go in there, but as I started to get more familiar with it, 
Um, I like the amount of control that you have, uh, how you can create really strong shape, how you can create a lot of airiness um, without ever having to change your tool, just changing the, the stroke and also just like going in and it's a little bit thicker here in the front so I'm gonna cut this in half because I need to be able to see my guide and feel it like it was so thick that I couldn't really feel the bottom hair drop out. So now on this side, I'm going to be using the tip of my blade versus the heel of my blade. And I'm also working from my inner, from inside my finger to outside of my finger. So I want to make sure that the tension is just right from the get-go. And I won't lose tension until I get to the very, very tips if I do at all. Perfect. So now we're going to do the fronts. So I'm going to divide that. This really wants to hang forward, so I'm just going to divide it from the one that's going to hang more to the side. And I'm going to bring this down and just go a little bit beyond like what the section in the back is doing. See how my, it's not really cutting? That's when you know you don't have enough tension. So I'm just going to go back in, recomb, get my tension back, and cut that off. I want to adjust that little piece on its own. So then you have like this little tiny point, but I'd rather have it and cut it off if it's too much than not have it at all and have it just kind of curve up. You're going to just go a little bit feet further down. And I am angling. All those little long pieces that I left, I'm just gonna go in and detail with the scissors. She wants it to appear a little bit more blunt, so I don't wanna take away everything that the razor did, but just like the parts that don't make sense, just cut them right off. So again, like we left it a lot more blunt in the front, just so it's like nice and heavy feeling but a lot more texture and movement in the back. Still one length technically, but like you can just see that if she air dries it, she's gonna have like pockets. It's not gonna be very triangular, but where it counts or where it's like the least heavy, which is the front, that's where it's like nice and blunt.